Hey, oh, let's go. Hi, I'm Z Gala, the art angel. You can call me Auntie Angel. I'm choosing joy and I'm gonna do my stretches. Wanna join me? And I like to remind everybody, you don't have to wear any special boots or put on any special outfit or brush your hair or nothing to check in with your body. <laughs> I do prefer to be silly, but that's just me. You don't have to be. You can be though, I do recommend it. Anyway, I like to start off with a little free arm swinging. I'm gonna do a quick full body stretch, freestyle, and I remind you to follow your own lead, do what feels right in your body. You can use me for inspiration and motivation, but don't use me to hurt yourself. So make sure you listen to your own body. That's really the point of all this. I am gonna put my snowboarding stuff away any day now, because snowboarding season is over, hence the t-shirt. We're going right to t-shirt weather around here. <sighs> Just indulging in a couple heavy sighs. I give you full permission to sigh away. Sigh your cares away. To let go of some stress. Get silly. Shake some stuff off. There's more stuff on the way. You don't have to hang on to all that stuff. Let's roll down. Checking in with the spine. Coming down past the waist all the way to the hips. Using the hands on the legs if that feels right. Pretty stiff today. I've been adding stuff, being all springy. And also sitting still a lot. It's a kind of a bad combination for the body. Well, I shouldn't say it's a bad combination, but it does make me stiff. Anyway, just letting gravity do some unwinding. Taking a few breaths here to just continue to relax the belly. Relax the back. <sighs> Indulge in another heavy sigh or two. As I mentioned, I'm bending from the hips here. For contrast, let's bend from the waist, pulling up and back in the abdomen and rounding the spine, left elbow over right. Just give those shoulders a nice squeeze, a little self hug. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the tail, uh, chin. Rounding the spine from front to back and from side to side and exhaling. <sighs> Pulling up in the abdomen, really squeezing all that and then breathing in, expanding the rib cage in. <sighs> Bending forward again from the hips, coming all the way down as far as is comfortable. You can bend the knees if that feels right to you. I like to do a little of that. Just let the arms hang. Again, let gravity do some unwinding. Relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. <sighs> Letting things unwind. And then I'm gonna give another self hug, this time right elbow over left. Again, pulling up and back in the abdomen, tucking the tailbone, tucking the chin. Really pulling those shoulder blades apart, stretching the back from side to side and from front to back. Pulling up in the abdomen. <sighs> Exhaling all that air. And then inhaling, expanding the rib cage as much as possible. And ah, forward folding with the exhale. Again, from the hips. Letting the head and neck go. Add a little weight, hanging on to the hair or the back of the head, maybe give the back of the neck a little rub. Just encourage that lengthening of the spine. Let's add a little twist. Put the right hand down in front of the toes and lift the left hand, looking up past those fingertips. <sighs> Giving everybody a little internal hug, a little ringing out. And then bringing the left hand down in front of the toes, lifting the right. Exhaling there. Let's do each of those again. Lifting the left. And 
Inhale, look to the right. Gotta breathe in before you breathe out, girl. <laughs> Coming back to center, just letting all that go. And let's roll back up. Nice and slow, just letting the arms hang. Check it in with the spine all along the way. Bring the arms up and down. Roll the shoulders down and back. Just check in with the alignment. Making sure the knees aren't locked. Making sure the hips aren't locked and are over the ankles. Making sure the shoulders aren't locked and are over the hips and ankles. Making sure the back of the neck is nice and long. Ears are over the shoulders. Nice, long, strong body through the core of the body, line through the core of the body. I'm gonna step back on the left side first. Just coming into a moderate lunge. Pull the hips onto the perpendicular line. Pulling that back hip forward, pulling the forward hip back. Checking that the front knee isn't crunching past the front toes. Pushing into that back heel. Breathing in and exhaling into that front Front hands clasped in front, rolling the shoulders down and back again. Shift that back heel onto the perpendicular line, extend those fingers, and then watch that finger as it arches across the top of the body, opening the hips now, coming into this side plane or a side triangle, adjusting as needed. The heel should be about on the same line now. This knee is aiming toward the wall behind, creating a nice opening sensation in the hips. Check in with the alignment of both hands. And then I'm gonna bend from the hip, coming down into a side twisting triangle, bringing that right hand down inside the right foot and lifting the left hand Gazing up past those fingertips again for a nice long aeroplane pose, I like to call it. Or we could call it a tailspin pose. <laughs> That's my own little joke. Let's bring this arm around to reach for that opposite thigh if possible and gaze out past that long leg. Still using the right arm and leg against each other for support and for torque. Giving that a nice exhale and then unwinding all of that, bringing both hands down on the inside of that front leg, shifting onto that back toe and maybe bending the elbows a little bit for a little extra lunge on that side. I'm going to spread the fingers nice and wide, bring weight onto those hands and bring that front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing down in the heels, pressing back with the hips. Pressing the heart and chest down toward the center of the earth. Keeping the head in between the arms. This is downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Asana. Asana just means pose in Sanskrit, I believe. Which means Adho Mukha must be downward facing dog. <laughs> ah. Let's come into a cobra pose. I don't know the Sanskrit word for that, although I should probably. And lifting the chest and eyes, dropping the knees and hips, letting go of the toes, really stretching the front of the body, letting go of the belly. Uh, give a tongue stretch and mm, stretch the chin toward the ceiling and uh, tongue stretch again. Mm, stretching the whole front of the body, just releasing the belly if possible. Making sure not to collapse in those shoulders. I'm going to push back into about a 90 degree angle with the lower body and then stretch these hands out into extended puppy pose or Uttana Shishosana. Fun Sanskrit word to say that means extended puppy pose. 
putting the forehead down on the floor and just continue to move those fingertips out, relaxing the belly, keeping the lower body active, but trying to really actively relax the belly. Keep moving those fingertips out the further and further if possible for a nice stretch in the chest. <sighs> it's one of my favorite stretches for the arms and chest. It's a nice counter stretch to the working at the desk. Continuing to move those fingers out a little bit more if possible. And then I'm gonna walk them back when they're to a place where I can get stability. I'm gonna lift the forehead. Got some dirt under there I need to sweep up. Let's bring the hands under the shoulders and do some cat cow breathing. This is cat or marjari asana. Lifting up in the abdomen, rounding the spine again like earlier, and exhaling. And then inhaling into the belly, lifting the chest and the tailbone. Exhaling, rounding. Inhaling and lifting. Maybe I can get this congestion to dissipate. Exhaling and rounding. Inhaling and lifting. Squeezing all the air out. Let's come back to neutral. Walk those hands out just a little bit. Tuck the toes under and come back into Adho Mukha Asana or Downward Facing Dog. Pressing the heels down, pressing the hips back. Nice long line from the fingertips out the tailbone. Stretching both the upper and the lower body. I'm gonna step forward with that left foot in between the hands. A nice deep lunge on that side. Pushing into that back heel before stepping forward. Coming back into that forward fold. <sighs> Just relaxing there for a breath or so. Adjusting as needed. And then I'm gonna bend the knees, swing the arms back and come into a counter stretch. Lifting the eyes, arms and chest to the sky. Still working on that congestion. stretch there feels good maybe pushing the hips forward just a bit and then bringing the hands down in front again for tadasana or mountain pose rolling the shoulders down and back again checking in with the alignment before stepping back with the right foot on the other side moderate lunge again pulling these hips onto the perpendicular line pushing into that back heel Feet should be on relatively parallel lines. Pelvis is on a relatively perpendicular line. Let's bring those hands again down in front. Roll the shoulders down and back. And I'm going to shift that back heel onto the perpendicular line, extending the fingers, keeping sharp focus on this finger as it arches across the top of the body. Opening the hips to the side plane, checking in with the alignment of everything. Again, hips are opening now. This knee is aiming toward the wall behind. <sighs> I'm going to slide that long leg out and bend from the hip, bringing the left hand down on the inside of the left foot and lifting the right hand, gazing up past those fingertips. Again, for a nice aeroplane pose or a twisting side triangle. <laughs> Bringing this hand around to reach for that opposite thigh if possible. Using the left hand and foot against each other for torque and support. And looking out over that long leg
enjoying a breath or two there before unwinding all that and bringing both hands down on the inside of that front foot, shifting onto that back toe, closing the hips, maybe bending the elbows again on this side for a deep lunge and then spreading the fingers wide, bringing weight onto those hands and bring that front foot back into Adho Mukha Asana or Downward Facing Dog. And again, pressing into the heels, pressing the hips back toward the wall behind, pressing the heart toward the center of the earth. Let's bend the right knee and press more into the left heel. And then bend the left knee and press more into the right heel. Do that a couple times on each side. Don't forget to breathe and smile, whatever else you're doing. Pressing back into both heels again, relaxing the belly, tipping the tailbone a little bit. And let's swing the body forward through a plank or a chaturanga or just the feet back and then drop the hips. Drop the knees, let go of the toes, and lift the chest and the eyes, pushing through from the palms up through the shoulders. Mm, nice long stretch from the pubic bone all the way through the belly, up through the chin. Mm, I like to make humming noises for no good reason. And ah, well, there is a good reason. It's good for you. Mm, plus it's fun. <laughs> Let's back, come back into that all fours position and again do Uttana Shishosana, extending the hands out, bringing the forehead toward the floor, letting go of the belly but keeping the lower body at about a 90 degree angle. <sighs> Just enjoying that stretch through the arms, through the shoulders, through the chest. Continuing to eat those fingertips out a little bit more and a little bit more for Santa Claus. Extra points if you know where that line's from. <laughs> and then when you're ready, walk those hands back. And let's lift the knees, lift the hips, come back into Uttana, nope, Adho Mukha, Asana or downward facing dog. Again, relaxing the belly, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pressing back, nice long line from the fingertips all the way out the tailbone. <sighs> now I'm gonna step forward with that right foot in between the hands, adjusting as needed, and enjoy that nice Nice long lunge on that side, pressing into that back heel. And then stepping forward with that back foot and coming again into that forward fold. Just letting go of the head and neck. <sighs> letting go of the belly and back. Letting go of the past like it was yesterday. Letting gravity do some unwinding. And I'm going to roll up, pushing from the center of the earth through the bottoms of relaxed feet, tipping the tailbone first, and just checking in with the spine all the way up. Just noticing where there's suppleness, where there's stickiness, not judging, just noticing, being there with my body. Let's bring the hands up overhead and then down in front. And again, roll the shoulders down and back and just take a couple deep breaths into the belly. Dropping the diaphragm, expanding the rib cage, holding at the top briefly, and then <sighs> exhale through the mouth. Pull the diaphragm up if you can and squeeze all the air out and hold on the exhale. Do a couple more of those, breathing in real deep through the nose, holding at the top, and then <sighs> exhaling through the mouth. Squeezing all the air out. 
if you can feel into that belly breath a little bit use the belly to help push and pull the diaphragm that's that muscle here that helps push and pull air out of your lungs Deep breath in, expanding the rib cage, expanding the diaphragm, expanding the belly, holding there, and then <sighs> squeezing all the air out. And then just breathing warmly. I like to add some clap snaps, checking in with my nervous system. Still healing, I'm happy to say. And then just do a little free arm swinging. Because I can. Because I like to. Because it's good for me. Because it's good for you. Try it. You might like it. <laughs> uh, I hope you're feeling silly too. Because life is much too important to take it too seriously. I like to say so. Lighten up seriously. I thank you for stopping by. I thank you for being you and letting me be me. Thank you for the like and the subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I hope you will stay curious and courageous. Get more fit. Get more free. Remember, we're all in this together. Till next time, I'll be seeing you. Ciao for now. Peace.